Hi oh, guys, welcome back. So today we've got this BMW 135i in for a stage two upgrade package. Um, so it's going to be um, RSS stage two ECU software, which is our in-house software, CSF intercooler and wagon downpipe. And um, before we get into it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, also notification bell, that you won't miss whenever our next video goes live. Um, so installing all of those parts, we're going to be doing a baseline Warren Road run on this. So seeing what the power is um, before we do the upgrades. I'm um, going to get the car in the workshop and then we're going to show you all the upgrades. Um, the differences between the standard, the upgraded ones. And then also put the car back on the dyno, um, install the um, RSS Stage 2 ETU software and then compare the power figures before and after and show you what you could be getting. Um, so yeah, so next step is to get the car on the dyno, measure some baseline figures and we'll see you in the workshop in a bit. So we've got the 135i up on the ramp. Um, you would have seen a little bit earlier on what the standard power output was. Um, so we've got the intercooler removed, the downpipes are on their way out at the moment. Um, so we thought we'd walk you through some of the parts we've got here in front of us. Obviously we've got the CSF intercooler that's replacing the standard one, one and then the um, Wagner catalyst downpipes that are replacing the catted um, standard downpipes that are on the car. So obviously massive difference between the um, standard intercooler and the CSF. So the CSF is about 210 mil tall and 140 millimeters um, thick. So it's actually um, sort of like a dual core intercooler as well. Um, so we'll just compare it compared to the um, standard intercooler. So obviously this is a lot taller, but then you can see that this intercooler is significantly deeper as well. So a massive um, increase in surface area compared to the standard intercooler in volume. Um, and the CSF intercooler has been tested all the way up to around about 1,000 horsepower. So perfect for like stage one, stage twos, and obviously all the way up to um, stage three big turbos and stuff like that. Um, replacing um, catted standard downpipes with the catless ones. So obviously um, these fit um, onto the turbocharger. Um, obviously, directly after the turbocharger, you want as little um, resistance as possible to allow the turbos to spool and also reduce the EGTs as well. So obviously removing the cats, you'll be able to allow the turbos to spool a bit faster, reduce the EGTs. Um, so um, obviously with the lower um, charge temperatures and better um, flow through the exhaust system, we can install the stage two ECU software, um, optimize like the ignition, fuel and boost, all the other maps inside the ECU for a higher power and torque output. So gonna get these fitted to the car and then um, get the car back on the dyno, um, do the, do the um, stage two EC remap and then we will compare the before and after figures as well. So see you in a little bit. Okay, so we're back in the dyno after uh, installing the RSS Stage 2 ECU software. So it's our custom in-house ECU software. Um, and obviously this morning we installed the uh, Wagner tuning downpipe, which replaces the uh, factory downpipe with a restrictive cat. So you've got a high flow cat in there to release, obviously, or reduce the back pressure rather and reduce EGTs. And then we've got the CSF intercooler that replaces the factory item to reduce the charge temps and keep all the... Um, the higher boost levels cooler than standard. Um, so we've got the graphs behind us. So the blue lines are the torque, the red lines being the horsepower, with the dotted lines being how it arrived this morning, and the solid lines, what it's leaving us with 
um, later on today, or will it now? Um, so standard, the car was making 300 horsepower and about 315 foot-pounds of torque, so around about standard figures, um, standard quoted BMW figures. And then now with the upgrades, it's leaving us with around 385 horsepower and just over 400 foot-pounds of torque as well. So a massive increase in torque and horsepower at peak. So you gained about 80 horsepower at peak and um, peak wise torque you've gained around 85 foot pounds as well but as you can see there's massive gains all the way across the rev range the max gains on this car um, are around 90 horsepower and just over 100 foot pounds of torque as well so massive gains all the way across the rev range for just two simple bolt-ons being a csf intercooler aftermarket downpipe and then the rss stage 2 ecu software um, so just after this we're going to show you what the exhaust sounds like standard exhaust compared to the wagner downpipe and let us know what you think of the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to watch other videos of ours that YouTube thinks you'll like, then click up here. If you'd like to watch some other videos that we have in the same playlist, then click here. And obviously, if you enjoyed the video, then we'd really appreciate it if you gave us a subscription. Um, and then obviously, you'll be updated when other videos of ours go live. And you can do that quite easily by clicking here. Hope to see you soon.